Hello everyone. Uh, hope you are not doing great. Uh, so I'm going to show you how you can add element uh, to your React Native or Expo project. It's a CSS library and it helps you uh, uh, in different kind of CSS uh, properties. So you don't need to write these kind of things, uh, which you usually write with the style sheet. As you can see, I have a simple uh, button over here, which I can click on. As you can see, nothing happens. Just a simple demo button. I'm going to add Tailwind to it, and, and I'm going to style it with uh, with the help of Tailwind. So I want you to go to this website called Native Wind, uh, and uh, basically it's a website for the uh, React Native Tailwind version. And here you can select the, the kind of project you're running. So I'm on a Expo project, as you can see. Dot Expo is over here, and uh, whatever project you have, just select it from here. I'm going to select Expo. And after that, I'm going to come here and uh, copy this and add this uh, native tailwind to my uh, package JSON or to my packages. So I'm going to install it. It's a simple app and uh, basically it's just a budget app, but uh, this is just a welcome screen of it just to show you a demo. And um, then I'm going to do this one also. You can also do this with the NPM or the yarn package. So I'm using NPM and that's why I'm going to use the NPM commands. Uh, so now we are going to wait so that it's uh, the native wind library appears over here. Uh, right now we can see that there is no uh, native wind library. So just wait for it. And uh, as soon as it is it is installed, it will appear over here in this package JSON file. So yeah, so as you can see, uh, it has been installed. And uh, now I am going to uh, install. A version of the uh, Tailwind CSS 3.3.2. Why? Because I faced a lot of issues with it. Uh, it was not working with my project. So, uh, so you can install this package that's, uh, that is mentioned, which will install the latest one. If it's not working, it's because uh, because of the support for the uh, React Native projects. So you can install the 3.3.2 uh, version. It will work with any React Native or Expo project. So most of the time, this latest version does not work. So this is the uh, version that you would need to install. So I'm going to run this command. And uh, if you guys uh, are wondering how I know this, because I have practiced this a lot of times in my projects, that uh, the latest Tailwind uh, library does not work with the Great Native. I don't know why they are not, uh, you know, solving this issue. Uh, but it's a very uh, major issue, and I think they should uh, solve this issue. So now we're going to run this command so that we can, uh, this command will basically create uh, a file, a Tailwind config file over here on the left side of the directory as you can see. So as soon as this command is run, it will generate this file, which is a Tailwind configuration file. Now we are going to paste some content into it. So first of all, I'm going to copy this uh, whole line and I'm going to come to this file and in the place of the, I think I should, I copy. Yeah, so now I'm going to paste this. I have pasted it and now it says custom directory. Here you have to add the directory where you want to use the tailwind. So my welcome.js file, it is inside the pages, right? Pages directory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to dot pages, right? So now it will look for the files inside pages and it will look for these file extension uh, extensions, the dot js or ts, which is basically TypeScript. And uh, other than that, they are saying to add this line to Babel file. Babel config is a, uh, here it is. So we are going to add this below the preset, preset line. So as soon as that is done, uh, we need to restart this because babel.config uh, was changed. So let me restart it. Let's see if this reloading works. And uh, now I'm going to do some change over here in the text of this and I'm going to say class name is equal to let's say um, background is black and text is white right so let's see if, if it's working if it's not working then I think we need to restart the whole app so basically just uh, you know stop the server and then restart it so npm run android again and I think this is what they meant to restart uh, yeah, I think I just misunderstood whatever they said. Okay, so you needed to restart the whole uh, server, not just the app. So uh, let's see what happens now.
okay i think it's restarting so let's see it it will restart here on the right side of the emulator uh, you can use expo on your own app which is very helpful but i'm using an emulator over here so that i can do both these things side by side uh, anyways let's see what happens over here so if this thing doesn't work that means we need to change the directory paths over here so right now i have given it a path of pages so then i will try to change it to something else and i will show you why i'm changing it and if you have a, one is not working it's because of this uh, directory paths so first of all yeah it's not working as you can see we have given it a back uh, black background and a white text right you know what let's make this uh, background as red 500 so that we know that uh, it's a major color and it should appear over here so these are tailwind classes right here and they are not working and the reason is because i think uh, these folders need to be renamed so let me let me just fix it and then i will show you what, or tell you what i'm doing um, okay so now it's working so the problem is the above line did not work why because it was looking for folders for files in in this kind of folder so it was going to the pages folder and then it assumed that there is another folder inside pages for example test and inside those tests there are files for example welcome dot js and so this is what it was assuming but that's not our case in our case there, there's only files inside the pages so we don't have any extra directory so double star means a directory and a single star means uh, pages so when i edit it uh, let me just comment this up when i edit this line this means that all the files inside the pages directory you can apply the uh, we, i can use the uh, tailwind inside it so in the above line which is right here it says that inside pages there is another directory where i want to use the tailwind but that's not correct right so or welcome is right here so we don't need to go inside in or into another folder so make sure that this you correct this or else it won't be wor working for you so now let me change uh, add another change over here so flex one justify and align so we are going to try to do this with the help of uh, css so if i remove it uh, the button will go to the top of the page because the css is not there anymore so now let's say it has a flex one right the justify is uh, center and the items are also center so now you will see that it is working again so you can add other things that you want so it's finally working and and, and let's say for example you want to use it inside the components as well uh, you know what there is another folder inside components called test right and inside that test you have another file so how do you if you want to use it there how are you going to use it so you're going to do something like this that inside the components I have another folder called test and anything any file inside test that has this extension i want to use tailwind over here so this is basically how you're going to uh, use the tailwind configuration so that's it if you have any issues uh, let me know i'm available 24 7 and i will try to answer your queries and if you find this video helpful make sure to hit that subs button and thank you so much for your for your time and thank you so much for watching have a great day